On this episode of Is It Crap, we kick back with a frosty cold one. Welcome back to episode two of Is It Crap? The YouTube show, which is really just a thinly veiled excuse for me to buy things I don't really need. My name's RJ, I'm your host, and today we are digging into something I've had my eye on for a long time here. This is the USB refrigerator. Um, and this is, uh, you know, for anybody that's uh, really gonna spend a ton of time in front of their computer, rocking their keyboard, um, you know, and needs to have that frosty cold beverage close at hand. I've had this around for a day or two and I've resisted, resisted the urge to break the seal on it. Uh, junk. Ooh. Now, the box has a red one on it, but I remember this now. I actually ordered the black one. So, there it is. First look, the USB fridge. Pretty uh, swanky now. Obviously dealing with some plastic here. On the uh, flip side of things, we've got a uh, the four foot long USB cable with a power switch on it. You know, the power switch is a little, uh, it's got two speeds on it. So we'll have to dig into that and see what that's all about. The door has a little handle. Is that, oh, well, the handle doesn't work. I guess you just open it. Oh, I see. It's, uh, it's a magnetic uh, lock here. There's really nothing going on inside. You can kind of see that. There's really nothing in there. Yeah, fairly straightforward design. Now, I was kind of curious how the cooling works in it. And, you know, if you look, take a look here, you can see little cooling fins in there. Well, where basically there's a fan in the bottom and that fan is just gonna pull air through the cooling fins, thus cooling it and whatever metal thing is attached to it. So a couple real basic questions right out of the gate. Uh, number one, do we need to read the directions? I don't think that's necessary. We'll get rid of that. Get rid of that. How long does it take to cool down a drink? How sturdy is it? And to do that, we may actually just put it through a bit of a test. So let's uh, first test out the working part of it, and then uh, we'll see uh, where things go from there. That did nothing. Okay, so even though there's two positions on the power switch, only one of them actually works. Nice little breeze. Nice little breeze comes out the bottom of it, so that's kind of cool. We're going to see how long, ooh, it's already actually cooling down quite a bit. We're gonna test this while we're waiting for it to cool. We've got your typical can of soda. We have your typical can of beer, which is a little bit taller than your can of soda. And I didn't think it would fit, but we're gonna try a bottle and yeah, no. The taller, you know, beer cans or cans of water, depending, do fit, fit nice and snug in there. You can see that, a regular can of soda instead of the um, taller beer can. So, you know, you got it rocking and rolling in there. Oh, I'm thirsty, I'm gonna get me a drink. Will a full can of NOS fit? This is the question. It will not, it will not fail. <laughs> fail on the NOS can. So no monsters, NOSes, uh, rock stars, uh, you might be able to squeeze a Red Bull in there, but. All right, so this is a completely warm cam soda. Let's test out the cooling factor here. We're gonna put that in, we're gonna let it sit, and I'm going to come back in an hour and see what temperature this can of soda is at. All right guys, so we've had this cooling for just about an hour now, and we're gonna bust out the uh, scanner probe here. Boop, boop, boop and see how cold our room temperature soda is. Ooh. Hmm, this thing says 74 degrees. The plate is 68 degrees. So this is definitely a long-term uh, solution here. I can see this as one of those things where you know, we, we got two degrees in an hour. So, you know, the 
fan with the heat sink solution. There's no Freon in here. It's not really blowing cold air. It's really just cooling the air that's already inside of it. And there's no internal fan circulation, so you're really just relying upon the conductiveness of the can to conduct the coolness up through uh, your frosty, tasty beverage. So it's definitely something designed to keep a cold can cold more so than it is to cool down a lukewarm can. Although that's, you know, that's not bad, really. There you go. Test number one. Now, let's see how durable it is. Pretty much intact. In fact, the door, the fan, yeah. All right, so now we're down to the important detail. Is it crap? Well, I'll tell you what, the build on it is surprisingly solid. Um, all things considered, you know, all drops considered, it's, you know, a solid one piece back. It's got your door on the front. It's got some decent hinges going on here. Like there really is not a whole lot to complain about, especially when you consider that this is under $20. Um, I would say definitely on the Amazeball side of the scale. All right, well, there you have it. That's the USB refrigerator. Um, I definitely like this thing. Uh, it's just so unique um if you want to check it out or get some more information there's a link in the description below um and of course here's your obligatory reminder to like comment share and subscribe and uh yeah if you haven't seen uh the first episode uh go ahead and check that out it's right over here um and we'll be coming at you next week with another usb gadget that uh is um very timely. We'll see you then. <laughs>